What's up? It's Mike B. Today is Sunday, November 29th, and I hope everyone had a, a great Thanksgiving. Hope you were able to spend time with either yourself or, or, or someone uh, that, that you love. I know it was a little different Thanksgiving for us. We typically are in two or three houses uh, back in Milwaukee or Naperville uh, during Thanksgiving, seeing a lot of my family. And that didn't happen this year. And uh, while I was saddened by it, I tried to soak up uh, what, what we did have and tried to have a lot of gratitude for us being able to be together, my wife, my daughter, and I. And uh, that was really the, a lot of the focus of the week. I did try to lean in on some things, uh, as I encouraged you to do last week. Uh, I, I, take, I, I take my own advice every week, so I try to lean in on a number of things. And I leaned in on gratitude uh, this week uh, in particular. And as I as I reflected uh, about about some things that I'm grateful for, I I thought about the shirt I'm wearing <laughs> right now, actually. So this is the Notre Dame athletic shirt. And if you if you if you went to ND and you maybe were a student athlete in the '90s, late '90s, early 2000s, you know that this is an issue shirt. So it's a shirt that they gave us. Or part of our gear that they gave us that we were supposed to turn back in uh, at the end of a week or a practice or something, and so obviously I didn't turn this in; I kept it. <laughs> so don't tell, uh, don't tell the the issue staff there. Um, but nonetheless, this shirt reminded me of just uh, reminded me to be grateful for my my journey. Okay, and what I mean by that is. I um, have, have loved sports and played and participated in sports, whether it's um, organized or just recreational or just for fun in the neighborhood since I was as little as I remember, right? Um, and I played uh, football growing up uh, as a kid. I, we, used to play, uh, we used to play a game called Kill the Man with the Ball uh, when I was real little uh, and growing up just in the neighborhood. And then I played flag football um, with NCSL over at Clover, Cloverlook Park over in, in Milwaukee. And uh, I had some flashes of, of a possible uh, football football journey and career uh, and dream uh, when I was real little. But that all got squashed very early, uh, right around I don't know, eighth grade-ish. I was not fast. I, I did not grow much. <laughs> and um, anyhow, my football dreams got, got put to bed early. However, I did play uh, football throughout high school. Ended up um, being a starting quarterback, quite honestly, uh, for our varsity team for a little bit. But I was awful. I was not good. <laughs> and so uh, the idea or thought of, you know, playing Division One, anything was just completely unheard of, right? Like, I, I, I fumbled a lot. I was short. I, um, I, I, I was not fast. It was bad. Like I was, I, it was bad nonetheless, but I had a lot of heart, had a lot of passion. I worked hard in practice. I, 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 I went all the way all the time. I tried to stay, you know, encouraging to my teammates when others got opportunities to play over me. I tried to really, you know, hype them up, encourage them. And even when I got benched, uh, I still tried to support the team and have a positive attitude through all that in high school. So I said it to say this. My, my college football dreams were dead <laughs> on arrival, practically. However, little did I know, <laughs> two years into being at, at college, I would still ultimately become a Division I varsity athlete. Uh, it was crazy. And that same kind of spirit, that same passion that I had when it came to teammates and encouraging them and, and to having that attitude and that work ethic, that same passion and spirit, it is what propelled me to be in position to um, try out and then ultimately earn the right to become the leprechaun mascot at Notre Dame. And so where you needed a lot of spirit, a lot of passion, a lot of energy. And so and I didn't get onto a D1 football team, if you will, but I was right there in the mix on a football field at a D1 program. And so it's just crazy. And that's how I got this T-shirt. So it, I, I had a lot of gratitude this week. And I thought about my journey and so far, right? And that was 20, that's 20 years ago now, you know. But I thought about that journey. It just reminded me to be grateful 
for my journey. And I encourage you to do the same, especially as we try to take steps forward in our lives, um, knowing and being mindful that everything we're doing, everything that's happening around us, to us, it's all happening for some reasons that we don't even know. Uh, we don't know what the future really holds. And so it's all just part of your journey. And so I'm really trying to embrace my journey. I'm trying to lean in again, uh, even further on my path forward in a lot of different areas of my life and just embracing this journey that I'm on that continues. And I just don't know what the future holds. And so nonetheless, that's my encouragement to you. Embrace your journey. Be grateful for the journey you're on and, 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 and just keep, keep moving forward. So that's it. Have a great week. Take care.